Yo everybody, what is good? It's been quite a while since I've made an upload. I'm stoked to be back. I'm back home finally. I took a month off in Canada and chilled the hell out and recharged the batteries, so I'm raring to go. Talking of battery, uh, this is why you're here, as you've seen by the title and the thumbnail. Finally have an e-bike. Got the Norco Range VLT right here in a nice factory sparkly green. So we're gonna get that built up. I have all the parts behind me on the floor. Um, for me, I've never owned an e-bike. This is the first time for me. I just want everybody to know that I am not converting to full e-biker mode. And I think the possibilities of doing very cool stuff and a lot of new stuff to new locations is gonna be thanks to this bike. So like I said, we have all the parts on the floor. We've got some nice Onyx D1s in black. DVO, thanks to the crew there. I was gonna go for green, but I felt like I would kinda switch it up so I'm really stoked on these they're my favorite we're going with this bad boy so DVO Jade with a 500 pound spring we've got battery here which weighs a ton I will tell you what size that is later on and we'll talk a bit about that but so shift in here SRAM Eagle uh, TRP gold brakes and we have the P&W cockpit bar and stem setup um, charger all the other things and we've got some envy wheels there so we'll take a quick brief look at the frame. I've actually already installed the headset and yes, you guessed right, I didn't do it properly, but I used a rubber mallet, but it's flash and it went in. Typical me, but it worked. Um, got the PNW dropper post in here, 200 mil. Installed these crank with our E mallet pedals. Cranks were already installed on the build. But yes, in a nice factory green. This is a size large. Um, range VLT, it's like glittery as you can see there. But it's nice and it's chunky. I mean, yeah, this is what people are gonna comment on how big this is, but I think it's gonna be a beast. So it's got spot for two bottle cages as well, I believe, which is cool. But yeah, we'll get this thing built up and see how she looks, but make sure you give it a like, comment below, give me your thoughts, and let's get stuck into it. So, managed to get the shock installed, had to get some little hardware that was included in the box, but she fits, and then the wheels, I just stuck the wheel in just to make sure that everything fits, and we've got Industry 9 hydro hubs on here. Got TRP derailleur here, gonna stick it on, this is 12 speed. So it is tyre time, I have a... Well, I'm deciding to go for a Maxxis Dissector here, which is kind of a faster rolling tire. And we have some pink sealant in there. Um, so we're gonna get the speed on and then get them inflated. I don't like this part. Next up. We're gonna get this beautiful, fresh cassette on this wheel. Install the wheel. So we've got the headset installed and the fork as well, but I'm not too sure if I've messed something up because there's still some gaps in it. But I also need to put Starfangled Nut in here, so I'm kind of going to wait till tomorrow to do that. Looks nice, I'm glad that I went for the black. Little tones of dark green here, kind of, in here, and here, kind of complement this kind of green. And that's what's, whatever's going on here as well, so I've got to cut my handlebars and get them stuck onto here. So we're going to install Lone Grips, p and I'm going for black. Fresh Grips. So we've got the PW Lone Grips, PW Range Bar and Stem on. Looks good. Got a little bit of teal going on. Instead of I think the other option I had was orange, so I went for this, but works out good. So I'm just sticking on the brakes right now. It's gonna look mega when the build is done. So I have to thread 
the cable's through, so I've separated the cable from the lever, but oh, these look insane. These are the DHR Evo brakes. That the gold was the way forward for sure. So it's starting to look like a bike. Got the wheels installed. Like I said, I had a dissector on the rear. I went for an assegai on the front. Downhill casing, front and rear. Got the cockpit kind of set up, but I have to put all like the um, e-bike controls and everything onto it. Get the brake slide, thread them through. I do need center lock adapters because I'm going from center lock to sick bolt. Then we'll get the chain on, we'll get the shifter on, and then do the dropper post and everything. And then we should be there, and then we need to get the battery and figure out how all this works. So yeah, it's going to be a complicated build, but um, I'm curious to know your thoughts in the comments. Like, have you built a bike, an e-bike up from scratch? Um, was it easy? Have you had any troubles with motors or the type of battery that was in it or whatever? I'm curious to learn along the way. But yeah, looks good. Pretty excited on it. Can't wait to get the bike on the floor. And it's going to be a heavy bike, that's for sure. With just the frame and the motor and the coil shock alone, the frame was really heavy. Or the, it was really heavy. So with the battery inside and then everything else on top. But I think it's going to make for a pretty fun ride. So. We'll get on to the rest of the parts right now. So it is a new day. Trying to get this thing built up. It's kind of difficult. I'm not really sure on even where the battery goes at this point in time. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I guess I assume that's the plug to charge it. But uh, I do need to get adapters for the rotors. I have installed a couple of bars down. 760. Got the TRP shifter on. Still need to cut the steer, but I think I'm going to install the chain. So we're going to go with a gold SRAM chain. They're so expensive nowadays. This must have cost me a hundred pounds, just over a hundred pounds. Like it's ridiculous how expensive things are now, especially in the sport we do. It's not cheap. Um, so we're going to get this installed. This should match up really well with the gold on the pedals. So let's get this installed. So now that the chain is. On, I just have to adjust like the length of it and stuff once we get the drivetrain going and the motor going. But we're going to stick on PMW Lone Lever. I'm going for a just a black to match the bars and everything. So I have caved in. Um, it's all too complicated for me personally. So I'm going to take the bike to ride in Ethan tomorrow morning and I'm going to get them to finish it off and. I'll hang around for a little bit and just try and help them out if I can, but um, we do have the gears on, um, chain is on, got all the little controls as well, like whatever this is, the screen and then I have my dropper post and then I need like there's some other power button or whatever there uh, to change the gears, but oh my, it's looking incredible. I'm super stoked on it. Like I said, one of the nicest builds. I feel like every build I have is nice. Um, or the best possible that I could get, but looks amazing. I think good colors match up well. Well stoked on the forks, it looks so nice. Suck! So, right, let's get it to the shop tomorrow and get this thing finished off. So, I have finally went and collected the bike from Ryder and Ethan. Uh, I think it was quite a big task for them to get it built, in all honesty. Um, everything needed to be the brakes needed to be rooted through internally in the frame and then cable and everything for the dropper post and the battery and motor, everything needed to be linked up. So I think it was pretty tough and it's something that I definitely couldn't have done myself. I think I was a bit ambitious wanting to get it done myself. So I'm glad that I handed it over to them and they got it done. So shout out to those guys for uh, getting that done. I am so excited on it. It looks amazing. And like I said, it's the start of something new. It's gonna be a bike that I'll be hopping on uh, now and then and I'll be able to get a ton of content from it. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to share the my experience on it. I have rode an e-bike once and I did like one lap on it and it was amazing fun. I guess I can show you now the full build. So here she is. So it's obviously, I mean, it looks like an e-bike. It is an e-bike. Super chunky, big down tube. Um, Amazing color, like the color is so nice. So I have finally went and collected the bike from Ryder and Ethan. Uh, I think it was quite a big task for them to get it built in all honesty. Um, everything needed to be, the brakes needed to be rooted through internally in the frame and then 
cable and everything for the dropper post and the battery and motor everything needed to be linked up so I think it was pretty tough and it's something that I definitely couldn't have done myself. I think I was a bit ambitious wanting to get it done myself so I'm glad that I handed it over to them and they got it done so shout out to those guys for uh, getting that done. I am so excited on it. It looks amazing and like I said it's the start of something new. It's going to be a bike that I'll be hopping on uh, now and then and I'll be able to get a ton of content from it. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to share the my experience on it. I have rode an e-bike once and I did like one lap on it and it was amazing fun. I guess I can show you now the full build. So here she is. So it's obviously, I mean, it looks like an e-bike. It is an e-bike. Super chunky, big down tube. Um, amazing color, like the color is so nice. I'm really glad that I went with the black forks. I think the green would have been cool too, but it would have been a bit much. These little green uh, dials here really complement the dials here. Um, I've got the, all the controls up front. So I've got the screen. I guess this is the, this is the modes. I've got the gears all linked up. Um, brakes have been bled. I've got a cush core in the rear. I do not have anything in the front, but I think I'm going to want something in the front. So we'll get that sorted at some point, but for now it will do. Got 12 speed. Um, I just pedaled back like that, expecting the cassette to make a noise. So that just goes to show how not used to the, not used to this I am. Anyway, yep, yeah, the build is really nice set of mallets. We have a SRAM chain, we have a SRAM cassette, we have derailleur and shifter. 12 speed, PW cockpit, range bar and stem, long grips. TRP DHR Evo brakes, DVO Onyx D1s, and these are 180, so they're the big boys. Got Envy wheels and Max's tyre front and rear, Asic IDH casing, and a dissector in downhill casing, a little bit narrower, 2.4. I think I'm going to want thicker tyres, like wider tyres. Maybe I'll put an Asic eye back on. We are running a 203 rotor in the rear and a big chunky 223mm in the front just to help stop the weight of this piece. Got a DVO Jade in the rear here with a 500 spring. I'm already sitting on it at the moment and it already feels a little bit too light so I'll probably have to adjust in here the air pressure for sure. Um, P&W dropper post 200mm and title saddle to finish the bike off. Um, it's a Shimano motor, EPA, uh, power on button here and yeah I'm pretty curious to see how it all goes. Got frame protection here that comes with the bike and then the battery is under here in here so the weight is all in where you want it to be right you want your weight in the middle of the bike um, and then obviously it comes with all this nice frame protection for the chain so it's quiet and Industry 9 hubs are bolted on to my wheels. So overall the bike looks amazing. I'm really stoked on it. The only thing that I might want to do is buy a cable that is longer than this. So this goes from here, uh, no here sorry, but it goes under and then it's quite tight as you can see here there's a bit of tension there and it just goes straight into this. So I want a little bit of a slacker one. Um, I don't want it to keep ripping out or anything like that if it was to happen. So that's going to be an upgrade that I'm going to do. I think they're pretty cheap. Uh, but yeah, really stoked on the build. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. I am curious to what you think of this build. Um, and I'm curious to know your thoughts on the e-bike in general. Like give me things that I should keep an eye on. Like tips and tricks. Um, you know, modes. Like how long does a battery last? Like this is a 900 watt battery. So it's really big and it's going to last a long time. But I'm not sure how long it'll last in certain modes. So... It's all like a learning curve for me and the bike is going to be a good tool for, for training and also to get to new places and get stuff done quicker and I still believe it's going to be such a challenge getting the bike down like because the bike's heavier so it's going to be more tiring you're going to be wrestling it around more. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, like I've just opened up something completely new to myself and obviously for the channel it's never... I've, never talked about or been seen on an e-bike on my, on my YouTube channel so it's a first but uh, I think it's going to be really cool and I'm going to go out and ride it ASAP. So 
Make sure you give the video a like. Let me know your favourite part on the e-bike. Make sure you give the video a like. Like I said, comment below. Let's have a chat. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well because the first video of me riding it will be dropping soon. And I'm going up north to do some riding pretty shortly as well. So exciting times. Stoked on the bike. Finally own one. And we'll see how this goes. So thanks for watching. Peace out. Stay safe. And we'll see you in the next video.